What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And as you can see, I'm actually outside right now. A lot of people always ask me about dispensaries in Chicago. They want to know how the weed game is. You know, it's a lot of people actually locked up for selling drugs. And weed is like one of the drugs a lot of people sell. A lot of people got a lot of cases. So the government took that over and made it legal. This is actually a dispensary in Chicago by the name of Vera Life. I go in here occasionally when you want to get that real za, you know. I'm going to tell you something about the dispensaries a lot of people don't realize. In this era, the way things is, that's about your safest way. You know, going in a neighborhood, meeting somebody you don't know, never met before, in the alley to do a hand-to-hand, -hand, I'll probably lead you to your graveyard in these eras and times. So the dispensaries kind of come in hand. But it is things about it that's a little crooked. You know, we from the hood. We'll go get a 3 5 for about 35 bucks. Some people charge you a little extra because they claim it's the czar. You know, might have to go up to about 45, 50 shit in this dispensary. You know, to get a 3 5 of that czar is about 85, 90 dollars. So they extra charging. So imagine how it is on the streets. A lot of people think that since the dispensaries opened up, that the street markets then died out. They didn't crashed out. Not really, shit. The street dudes are making a lot of money now because nobody really want to come out here and spend a hundred dollars on a three five. You know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. This actually a dispensary. That lady right there is actually like a person who shows you this computer that got a menu with all kind of weed on it, man. I'm talking about pounds cake, mints, all kind of marijuana that you probably never thought you heard of. They got all kind of pictures on it. It kind of looked like a um, one of those brochures that's selling clothes and shoes like an old East Bay magazine or something like that. But that lady right there give you your options. You go over there and tell her what you want. She going to pull up up. You're going to figure it out. They got all kind of shit from waxes, uh, flour, you know, edibles, lighters, cigars, all kind of shit. Um, I noticed that this is a million dollar business. It's actually a security guard outside of the place when you walk in, he'll open the door for you. That's security. But um, in the hood, they got security too. So it's things in this corporate business that you see in the hood that's crazy. They got security. You know, I'm going to tell you another thing that I don't think people realize is that it's people right now locked up doing 15 years for getting caught with a whole bunch of cannabis, getting caught with a lot of pounds of marijuana. Then the government made it legal. A lot of those guys are still locked up uh, while the government is making millions off of this shit. Then you got guys who was able to get out of jail from the weed case, but they record fucked up. You know, they're going to have drug cases on their record when all of a sudden this shit is legal right now. So. I don't think it was a lot of thinking about this. I just think the government realized it was a lot of money to be made. So they just jumped in. And now I'm actually talking to this lady, too. She's showing me all kind of things. I'm looking on this um, computer that she has. It got, like, all kind of pictures of marijuana. Uh, it asks you how strong do you want your shit. I always come in there and say, give me the strongest, which I believe is like the lemon cake. Uh, oh, I think they got some shit called gelato, uh, strawberry gelato. I think it's registering at like 33% THC. So that's a very strong one. The real Zosky, you know. So she's showing me these things. I'm telling her exactly what I want. I don't want nothing big. I just told her I want like a 3.5 or maybe the strongest shit she got. Uh, she showed me a 3.5 that I'm finna buy actually costs $89. You know, that ain't really a lot, but that's more than you supposed to pay for that shit. It feel like a ripoff. But yeah, like I was saying, it's actually a little loud in here too, man. It seems like the people be excited to come up in here. It's like a mall for weed. Uh, I will let you hear the noise that's going on inside of here. But actually, they playing copyrighted music. I don't own the rights to the music, so I had to mute the video. So I'm going to just describe what's going on. That's actually a famous baseball player. That picture that I just showed, that's Ryan Sandberg. Used to play for the Chicago Cubs. He's actually an investor inside of this company so as you can see it's real 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 big business going on in these dispensaries downtown but yeah you wait in line you wait till they call your name remember like i was telling you everybody that come in these dispensaries is spending money nobody's coming in here to buy a five dollar bag so it's a lot of money to be made places like this 
you know, they become billion dollar companies within months. And I believe Vera Life is like one of the companies that's leading the wave in the dispensaries and shit like that. Not sure what kind of crooked deal they can have with Chicago, but there's some weird shit going on in Chicago as far as with the governments and all kind of things. It was once upon a time people couldn't believe that they were legalizing marijuana. You know, it was going on in like California, Colorado. We never thought it'd hit Chicago, but since it did, everybody's out here buying the stuff. And then there's people in these lines who I would have never thought smoke gas. I would have never thought that lady be buying the za. You know, so when I came in, it's early in the morning. They just opened up the door. So a lot of people not out here right now. But if you come about 10, 11, 12 o'clock, it'd be a line long as hell outside, man. For some reason, it's around the Christmas time. So I guess people still laid up in the crib. I was able to come up here and not have a lot of traffic and shit outside. Remember, it's dangerous standing in them covet lines and shit. Somebody arrived past and spot you. We actually seen that downtown with like FBG Duck who was standing outside in the covered line uh, at a designer store when you know the ops ran past and spotted him. So shit get crazy. But uh, as you can see, they only got two workers working today. Uh, they got security and then they got a person to show you what kind of marijuana you want. So as you can see, I'm just waiting in line patiently for them to call me over. She's handling that customer right there. Um, this dispensary is in a real nice neighborhood too. Very nice neighborhood. But the crazy part is it's like three other dispensaries right around the corner from it. So they competing with each other, coming out with the best prices. They got like a coupon deal, a rebate deal. All this shit on marijuana. That's why I tell you, it's real crooked. It's funny that the government is even involved in something like this. But we're not gonna knock it because I like the gas, you know? And I do think this is the way it's supposed to be, man. If you're gonna sell people alcohol, you're gonna sell them cigarettes, then you should be able to sell them some marijuana. Now, I don't know about no crack or that other stuff. That's some whole other thing. You need chemicals and all kind of shit to make that. So I just think that's a, a crash out thing and I don't think that's cool. Uh, but as you can see, she finally called me over. It's crazy, too, because it's almost like you had the, the BMV. You know, you go to the line, you show your ID. They ask you to pull your face mask down. So I pulled my face mask down. She was able to see my face, see that it was me. Um, I hate to give you this step-by-step -step play like an announcer, but like I said, they was playing copyright music. I didn't want to upload the video because I didn't own the music. I'm pretty sure if you were YouTube, you know exactly how that's go. But um, I'm showing them exactly what I want. This is the crazy part. She actually came to me with something that they got called Shake, where they'll sell you the Shake of the Za, you know? So they'll give you like seven, eight grams of the Shake for a decent price. I didn't know that that's what I ordered. So I ended up telling the lady, I'm good on that. I ain't want the Shake. Give me the strong and the shit that's put together. So she put that back and she got me something called Layer Lemon Cake Mints. So, I end up getting that. I ain't gonna lie, it's decent too. I'm actually smoking it right now while I'm recording that video. I'm actually outside uh, getting a little bit of air. You can hear the sirens and shit. But yeah, that's actually the lady right there. She's like a dispensary waiter. In the hood, we call them drug dealers. The government got a nice word for them. So they dispensary waiters. Uh, you can tip them and all kind of shit like that, which is crazy. They got like a reward program too. So if you go to these dispensaries every day, you get like $5 off, $10 off. You know, when your birthday come, they'll give you like 15% off. So they give you reasons to want to shop with them. It's just crazy because in the hood, the drug dealers be like young thug looking ass niggas with tattoos on their face, gang bankers, street niggas. With the government, that's a drug dealer right there, that lady right there. But they're gonna call them, you know, dispensary waiters or whatever professional name you want to put on it. But like I was saying, she got my order together, got dude to come out, bring me some good. She's sending it back to him. Look, true teller say he don't want no shaky shake. He cool on that. He want this flower put together. So she's showing me that she got that layer of lemon cake mint out. Uh, decent. I'm actually smoking it right now, I'm trying my best not to cough. But, you know, this is what it's like when you go in a dispensary. I wanted to show you guys this because a lot of people don't really understand that, you know, the government that took what a lot of these street cats, how you doing? Took what a lot of these street cats was doing 
and made it their own, made a business out of this. We actually seen this happen a long time ago with like alcohol. That shit was being bootlegged and the government took that over. We seen that with like the lottery. That was some illegal bootleg ass shit and the government took that over. Now it looks like the same thing is happening with marijuana. You know, these guys are putting nice names to things that they used to put bad names to them, you know? What you guys call a uh, dispensary waiter, back in the day you would call them people drug dealers, you know? What you was calling a dispensary back in the day, you was calling a trap house, you know? What you call uh, security back in the day, you was calling the lookout, you know? So the government then took what the street cats was doing and made a nice name out of that shit. I'm actually leaving now where the music stops, so I'm gonna continue the video right here. As you can see, the gas, check out the receipt, bro. This shit was $75, bro. $75. Of the good gas. $75. dollars Put this some real Zaza. Your head gonna fall off soon you you're smoking, but that's how it go. I appreciate it. So that's how it work in the dispensary. Security guard opens up the dispensary. As you can see, the trap is juking. And everybody that go up in there, you got to remember, ain't nobody spending $5, $10. Everybody going there spending $75 or better. So I just left out of there with three customers. Pretty sure that's a couple hundred dollars they finna make. Maybe off each person. Then there's three people outside, it was three people in line, and the place just opened up three minutes ago. And they not already probably didn't checked a couple thousand dollars in three minutes. So you got to understand this big business in them dispensaries, man, in Chicago. And most of them downtown, like down here. And them dispensaries are not in the hood. Most of them things are down here, man. But I wanted to show y'all that because, to be honest with you, I feel like that shit crooked. There's so many people locked up right now for selling that shit. So many people in jails right now with with drug crime. So many people that got out of jail from selling weed, but they record fucked up. They got big time drug cases on their record, and then the government made it legal, and they out here selling dope, putting trap houses in the community. And then this is what they do, bro. They sell the weed and say it's recreational. They put professional names on it so they can get away with selling drugs. Then they call these places dispensaries, where really they just drug houses, trap houses. The government crazy as hell, man. And to be honest, I don't really knock weed because I don't think weed is what people make it seem like. I've been smoking that shit. That shit feel like medicine, man. So, to each his own, man. I just wanted to show y'all that. You come up with your own opinions. You know, I wanted you guys to see what's going on in Chirac. I don't want to just show you the drill shit and the street shit. I want to show you how the government be on that drill shit and street shit, too. Police out here drilling young people. They out here selling drugs. Yeah, don't let that shit go over y'all here. 2022 gonna be crazy. It's the homie True Teller, this three reporter.